Hi, I am John Lira, and I want to give you a quick overview of MDM version 10. The reason I'm doing this, and let me get started by bringing up the browser so that I can bring up the MDM Hub Console and IED, and then I'll tell you why I'm doing this. This is the MDM version 10 Hub Console, and the reason I am giving you this quick overview is people are asking me that if you have taken the course for MDM Hub Console and Data Director, if you've taken our courses, do you have to take them again for MDM version 10? And it is my opinion that the answer is no. And the reason I can say that is that we actually, let me finish logging in, that when, when we teach you our courses, we don't teach you every feature of the product. We teach you the core principles or fundamentals. So for MDM, we try to teach you the fundamentals of configuring your ORS and creating a data director application. So if you've taken the data director course, and so those are port that's portable knowledge. You'll see that nothing really has changed from there. Of course, there are differences. So what you see here now is the NDM Hub console, and let me go to IDD. Now to get a detailed description of everything that has changed, enhancements, new features, uh, bug fixes, I highly encourage you to download from our support website the release notes and the release guide to MDM 10. That will take you step by step to all the changes. Now this is Informatica Data Director, which you should know that this is the tool that we use to create end user experiences or our data governance applications. So when you log into IDD, notice, and I'll show you each one of these tools in a moment, this is where we would configure our application. There's another component that I also want to talk about, and that is our workflow. And also, lastly, how Informatica MDM works in conjunction with something called Informatica Developer. So there are three things I want to address. Informatica Developer, Informatica Data Quality, and the new workflow engine that works with MDM and how you can leverage, leverage these components to doing your work. So here is IDD and let me now go back to the Hub Console. I've logged in already to the Hub Console and notice that it looks pretty much the same as you're used to the configuration, the model workbench, security. If I open up the configuration and uh, just a few more of the other workbenches, notice there's real no difference. But some of you might have noticed there's something called Workflow Manager. Ah, that is one of the differences. That is the workflow engine that I will speak to in a moment. So if we're using the NDM Hub Console, you know that you go through users, your administrators will set up users, your uh, administrators will configure the ORSS, all that you can learn in a separate class. Here I just want to go ahead to the schema and connect to our MDM sample and notice that this is a completed sample ORS already configured using the party data model and I want to go to schema and you'll recognize that we have based objects and landing tables. Let me drill into the party business uh, the party based object and let me go to the staging table. Here is where there's an additional way that you can bring data into the staging tables of MDM. Notice that I have a staging table and here on the right hand side I have something called Informatica platform staging and something that says synchronizing with model repository. Remember what that means. The, I'll abbreviate it as the MRS. Okay. One more, one more area. I'm going to go to the Enterprise Manager on the left-hand side and notice that when I look at my ORSS, I select my ORS that I'm working with, scroll down, and there's something that says Model Repository Service URL. What is this? Well, with MDM version 10, we can actually bring in source data into something called Informatica Developer. We can transform, change the data, concatenate fields, modify anything we want to do to the data coming in and when we run it that data will be stored into our staging tables of MDM. So let's do a quick review of our MDM hub course. In that class we teach you that you bring in source data to the landing table followed by into the staging table 
follow into loading it into the based objects, then we can match, then we can merge, and then we end up with our golden records. Well, the staging table in which we move data from the landing, cleanse it, and then store it into the staging table, now you can do it differently. You can use what's called Informatica Developer. And in order to connect it with Informatica Developer, these are the three touch points, the model repository and the staging tables that I showed you a few moments ago in how you would actually configure these, uh, these components. Okay, Informatica. Now, let me, bring, let me go and jump into the Informatica tool. I, this assumes that the products have been installed. Notice it says launch Informatica developer. All that has been pre-installed, pre-configured. So I just want to show you from a very high level what this tool is. Notice this is a tool that also requires you to learn it. It is a very sophisticated development environment tool. Many of our customers use Informatica developer to do data quality, to run on Hadoop on our big data solution, and now you can use it to run it and stage data into MDM version 10 of a hub. Now notice, I won't go, I will not go into all the details, but one of the things I want to do is connect to a repository that the MDM hub is using. I will log in as admin admin. And you can review other tutorials that I've created and my colleagues have created. They will show you how to actually use the developer tool. We have a a an e-learning module that you can take anywhere, anytime that shows you the developer tool, not how it works with MDM, but the developer tool in itself. So I connected to the MRS and now look at the things that I can do using the Informatica developer tool. I can create applications, folders, mappings, maplets. I have content, I have workflows, and I have something called logical data objects. Extremely powerful development tool, again, to implement big data solutions, data quality solutions, data integration solutions, and now MDM hub staging solutions. So what I want to do is just show you one object called the mapping, a very powerful tool. And it, I'm going to call this, I'll just leave it mapping. It says, where do you want to store this? And just, I'll just store it under rules. And notice, this will give us an idea of what I'm talking about. Notice here in the middle, I have all these transformations. I have something called case converter, etc. So what does this mean for us as MDM people? This means that I can bring in source data. I can transform the data, say concatenate first name, last name, or make first name uppercase, etc. And then when I run this, it will store my data into the staging tables of the MDM hub. Isn't that excellent? So now you have another way of doing this. Now, Informatica data quality, what does that mean? It means that if you, if you have the license for data quality, you can also make use of the data cleansing rules that we have. Notice we have uh, state validation, zip code validation. We have data cleansing, email validation. So with the data quality, we, we give you pre-built data cleansing to, uh, rules, but you can create, and that's where the power comes, your own cleansing rules. Again, you would use them and this data will then be stored into your staging tables. So that is what we mean by Informatica developer and Informatica data quality that can help you uh, increase your productivity of your MDM solution. Okay, so let me exit this. I'll minimize it. And let me go back to the hub console here. So in the hub console, I'm pretty much done there. Let me go back now to workflow. Let me connect. And notice here, ActiveOS MDM. This is Informatica's premier solution for M, uh, BPM, business process management, sophisticated human workflows and task management. What we have done now, we have integrated this, this uh, ActiveOS or this quite sophisticated workflow into MDM. Remember, and let me quickly jump to IDD. Remember that when you create IDD applications and you actually take our course and you edit and you edit our subject areas. Let me edit it. I won't go into the details. Notice where you have task 
assignment, you can actually implement a one or two level approval process. Well, now you can do much more sophisticated workflow processing using the ActiveOS workflow engine part of MDM. So again, not much difference from what you and I know, but the engine is now different. And that is the third major component. So Informatica Developer, Informatica Data Quality, and the new BPM engine called ActiveOS. That, that's pretty much what changes in MDM version 10. And I'm simplifying it. I just caught myself. I am simplifying it. There are more changes, but again, I refer you to the release notes and the release guide or our other training courses to give you a deeper understanding of version 10.